welcome back by this time you should have known about what foreign key is what's its purpose and why this relationship is required if you have any questions on these details you can feel free to go back to the lecture and know what a foreign key is because an elaborative manner of the explanation has been given in the previous lecture so uh, let me take you into how we can create the foreign key let me go in with se11 and go ahead by creating a table you're seeing repetitions of database table creations so the intention of this is when you see something repeatedly it is 100 times greater than doing so I strongly recommend you to see this again and again and try to replicate the same first and then you can try your own examples let me create a base table so I'm going to say my base table as let me say 0 1 and hit on create enter the short description foreign key and we go into the first option maintenance allowed and now to the fields MANDT as you know this represents the client followed by my key fields so I'm just going with one field called ID where I'm going to say the data, data element name as DID F key. Let me create this first. You know all this process so I am rushing it up. Enter. Now you have one more option to be done. Go and create the data domain. As simple as that, you know how to do it. And this time I'm going to make this ID as a character which can accept the numerics also. And I'm going to say the length as 6. Save it and activate it while activating. Choose the data element as well and activate it. One step back, one step back. Second field now name field which is not a key field basically and go ahead and create the data element associated with it let me say de for name copy paste it's going to be name so I'm going to copy this enter now create the domain devo for name let me say this as character and let me put the size as 35 characters long save it and activate it while activating choose the data element as well and activate I'll, I'll finish off with one extra field uh, which is called as an age field let me create the data element and give the same name as what you have given here for the domain fine double click on the domain create the domain devo for age I'm going with once again with characters let me say 3 save it activate it now we have done with completing three records 
So the next thing that I'm going to do, you very well know, in order to complete the database table, I have to go with technical settings. Just save it, and click on the technical settings. Choose the first option and size category to be the first one as well. Save it one step back. Now go to extras, enhancement category, use only characters, choose characters, click on copy. Now save it, check it and activate it. Now you know very well that the table is ready to accept the entries. Go to extras, go to utilities, table contents, create entries and you can create around four or five records just for our purpose. Let me say A000 and let me say Ashik, let me say age is 30. Save it, reset it. A zero zero one zero one Arun ages thirty four two Shan ages thirty eight. Now I have three records in this particular table. The second thing that I'm going to do is like I'm going to create a second table. I'm going to make a relationship from the first table to my second table with the help of a non key field in this particular table. So when I say non key field, I'm going to take name as my non key field and I'm going to have a relationship between name to the new table. How do I do that? Simple. Go ahead and create another table. Let me say two. Click on create. Foreign key table. The process is the same, but you will be doing a small difference in one part. I will stress the point when it comes. MNDT, MNDT, and the second field, the key field for the second table is going to be the non key field in the primary table. So, in this case, I have to use the same data element. So, what I'm going to do here is like I'm going to say something called name, and I'm going to use the same data element. And then you can use any other data element, uh, any other fields, field names you want. Let me use city. Uh, even if that has a relationship between the first table or it does not have, that's not a problem. So one field with which you are relating a content, relating a relationship or building up a relationship is very, very important. For city. Since I've created that field, I would like to create the data element as well. Now go ahead and create the domain for this. Devo for city. Character as length, save it, activate it. Back, back. Now, save it, click on technical settings, fill in all the things that you do for a normal table. This is going to be a normal table, but rather it will have a small relationship with the first table. So, extras, enhancement category. Character type, copy, now save it, check it, and activate it. Now, utilities, table contents, create entries. So, listen here carefully. This is the part I wanted to tell you. So, let me uh, say the name as um, David and the city as California. Press Arnold. 
the dear Seattle. Now you very well know this table contains two records. You also know that as of now the two tables that we have created has never got any relationship so far. Because I, I have not given a relationship except I use one field in common that is called as a name field. Now I am going to copy the second table name and I am going to the first table. So this is my first table. I am copying the name of the second table. What am I going to do is I am going to select the name from the first table. I am going to hit on this button which is called as a foreign key. By the time I hit on that button, this dialog box will ask for the second table name. I will give the second table name. I am going to hit on generate proposal. Now you can see all the fields, the key fields that have been given in the second table. Now we need only one field. Just select, keep your cursor on the name field, click on copy. You can see a message foreign key z new underscore fd key 01 hyphen name was transferred. This denotes a relationship is made. Now, once this relationship is made, once again save your table, check it and activate your table. And now you can find a new button appearing in the create entry screen that is called as a check table. So before that it would it would not have been appeared. You can check it in the second table if you wish. Table contents, create entries, you do not have that button. But when you check it after the small modification that we did in the first table, the primary table, you can see that this button is appearing. Now, the next step is what is the use of this particular button? It is nothing but being in one table, checking whether the value is available in the second table. That's the actual idea. Now, let me take an entry in the secondary table, an entry which is not available in the secondary table. Let me say David is available, but David 1 is not available. You can see here David 1. Click on check table. Automatically, this particular table makes a connectivity to the secondary table and says entry David 1 does not exist in the second table. So, what happens if I give an entry available? It will go there as simple as that. Click on check table. Now it takes you to the second table and you can see the entries by executing that. This is called a foreign key relationship. So from one table you are reaching the second table to check whether a value is available or not. Hope you enjoyed the session. See you in the next session. Thank you.